Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're going to revisit animation on how to do simple animation in iMovie. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is need something in your main timeline. And we'll just use an image here, but of course you can do it with the video. And let's stretch it out a little bit here. Okay, next you're going to need a picture in a picture. Let's go ahead and drag this image down here, this bullet from Super Mario. Going to make this, uh, let's make it about four seconds. Okay, I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to go to the drop down over here and we're going to make a picture in a picture so we can resize it as we wish. Okay, yeah, I guess that's a good size. So doing animation is all about keyframes and this is the keyframe tool right up here. But what you want to do is you want to put your image where you'd like to begin. So let's put a little bit off screen here. And then you want to put your scrubber in your timeline where you want that first keyframe to be. All right. And sometimes iMovie doesn't agree. And it kind of doesn't give you that keyframe back. So you're going to have to mess around to just click off of it and click back on it. And it'll come back. All right. So I got my scrubber like right at the beginning there. So now we're going to go ahead and hit this button here to add a new keyframe at the playhead. Okay. So we'll do that. And then next we're going to drag this image all the way to the end. And the reason why it's see-through is because there's a little bit of a transition, which we'll get rid of in a second. And I'll put that at the end right there. I'm going to move my scrubber or my playhead to the end and make sure this image is, let me, let me take this transition out first with these little tools up top here. Oh, let's get back there. Okay. So let's go ahead and, get our playhead where it needs to be. Again, it's acting kind of stupid. Sometimes it does that. But what you do is just double click on it to highlight it. And then you just move the playhead to where you need it to be. Come on, I move. you can do it. There we go. And then I'll put that last one there to add one more. And then you're going to go ahead and hit that check mark to actually accept it. So let's do that. And now let's have a look. We're going to go ahead and play it. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at this animation real quick. There you go. Now, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes this keyframing can be a pain in the butt. So you just really have to mess around with it. it. Sometimes it accepts them, sometimes it doesn't. If you start having issues, just go ahead and hit that reset button here and then start from scratch, basically. Resize your image, put it to the location you like it to start. Let's just start right here. Hit that first one. Move it around, hit that second one, move it around, hit that third one, move it around, and make, let me make this a little bit bigger, move it around, add that one, and then I'll go ahead and drag one all the way off. And we'll put the last one at the end. We'll add that one and then we'll go ahead and accept. Okay, so let's see what this bugger looks like. Okay, so it's easy to do, but the hardest part is sometimes the keyframes seem to reset themselves. So you'll just have to play around with it, but it's not too difficult. And again, you can do pretty much anything you want. You can start with a smaller image, go to a bigger image. Uh, you can go up to down, right to left, back and forth. But it's kind of a cool, you know, semi-advanced feature that's in iMovie that a lot of people don't know about. Okie dokie. Thanks for watching. And as usual, peace and aloha. See you in the next one.